2019 is closing off a busy year for the Oregon State Legislature, and with it, plenty of discussion surrounding certain bills that passed. Two of those directly targeted plastic, banning both single-use plastic straws in restaurants and plastic bags at grocery stores. Customers can still request a plastic straw, but if shoppers don't bring reusable bags while shopping, they'll be charged at least five cents for every paper bag they use. Earlier this month, we spoke with the store manager of Food for Less about the change. We do have to charge a nickel. Um, that's a mandated by the state, so um, we can charge more. We've chosen not to. We're going to charge five cents. Roads will be different come January 1st, as drivers will have to watch out for the so-called Idaho stop. Inspired by Idaho's law, Oregon will allow cyclists to treat stop signs as yield signs. Some who oppose the law worried about bicyclist safety, but according to one cyclist we spoke with in early December, it's not a worry. As long as it's safe enough and there's no other right-of-way traffic that's already at the intersection, it's definitely a convenience to be able to carefully uh, but ca and cautiously roll through the, the intersection without having to come to a complete stop. Oregon is also planning for the future with two bills, one aimed at daylight savings and the other for national elections. The state is set to move daylight savings to year-round, but will need federal approval and similar laws passed in California and Washington to take effect. Oregon also joined the National Popular Vote Compact, which agrees to give the state's electoral college votes in presidential elections to the winner of the national popular vote. Supporters need 270 votes to enact, and Oregon brings that total to 196. And one final bill expands upon an original law set up in 2015. Oregon's revenge porn law has made it illegal to post intimate images of a person on the internet without their consent. The new update would also make it illegal to share images through text, email, and even hand-printed images. In Medford, Miles Ruichi, NBC5 News.